Hello and welcome to yet another video. Yesterday we got an update on the upcoming Prelude 2 and Automa expansions. The newsletter email said that production was coming along nicely and would be completed until the end of the month. However, you can only expect to receive the content in July or August. Together with the newsletter email there was also a short video showing the new content and I was actually able to make out some new cards. Let's go over them. And I already excused the very bad quality of these images, but getting good screenshots of these cards was nearly impossible. So, first of all, we saw some cards that we already knew about due to various promo material released earlier. We saw anti-desertification techniques, paladin shipping, applied science, Ceres tech market, Sagitta frontier services and summit logistics before, and all seem to be unchanged as far as I can make it out. We also can make out Spire, but we don't see anything other than the name, so we don't know whether it's changed or not. Then there are some cards we already saw before, but either we lacked some info about them that is now revealed, or something was straight up changed due to balancing reasons, I imagine. First of all, we got Niagle Enterprises. This is the corporation that allows you to fund milestones and awards for free. For now, we thought this corporation had 33 MC of starting capital. But now we know it will only have 30 MC of starting capital and I have to admit, I'm not really sure if that corp will be any good. Sure, it's great to be able to fund milestones and awards for free and that can be super clutch in the right situation. But with that low amount of starting capital, you're not getting your economy up to speed fast enough to help secure these milestones. Other than Diversifier and Generalist of course, since on those you have an insane bonus from the start. And lastly, for the known but changed cards, we have the Prelude Colony Trade Hub. In the original promo image we got a few months ago, this card granted 3 Titanium, while now it's only 2. With it only granting 2 Titanium, I'm not too sure if it's a great Prelude. But what I definitely know is that it is very dependent on player number. If you're playing with 4 or even 5 players, this Prelude will grant you an insane amount of money very quickly, while in 2P, I think it's quite underwhelming. But let's get to the interesting cases, the cards we haven't seen before and we get a somewhat good look at in this video. Corridors of Power is a prelude with an earth tech that will grant 1 instant TR, 4 MC of starting capital and then what seems like an effect that allows you to draw a card whenever you get a party leader. I saw some people interpret this as a card draw whenever you get elected chairman, but that symbol clearly represents a party leader. Since we cannot read the text, we don't know if there are caveats to this. Does this trigger instantly or at the end or start of a gen? Does it count for all parties or only the dominant one? We don't know, but in its best case scenario, namely when it triggers instantly and whenever you get any party leader, it is absolutely bonkers. Not only will it draw you an insane amount of cards over the course of a game, it will also disincentivize your opponents from replacing you as a party leader since that means you can get another card draw out of taking that leadership position back. I hope this prelude does not work like this. Next up we get to Early Colony. There's another frame in the video where you can actually read the name of the card, but not the effect, but trust me, its name is Early Colony. Here we can see it has either an earth or a space tag, my bet is on the latter, and then it seemingly allows you to place a colony tile and either grants 3 titanium or 3 power. I'm not quite sure, but my bet is on the latter again. If we assume the price of a colony is 17 and the average value of a prelude is 21, then I think early colony is roughly fairly priced. Of course, depending on what colonies are in the game. Especially in a 4 or 5 player game though, this card can still be one of the best preludes in the game because it can guarantee that you'll get a spot on the very contested colony tiles like Pluto or Luna. I like it. While we're talking about colonies, let's get to Colonial Envoys, an event that costs 4MC and requires either unity in power or you having two delegates there. Then it allows you to place one delegate per colony your own. The delegate symbol has an asterisk next to it, so I imagine you're allowed to split the delegates between different parties. Either way, this card alone can win your elections, since not only can you get multiple delegates out of it, you can get them out at once. This means you can surprise overtake someone and then they need to spend extra delegates to overtake you again instead of just defending their lead. Very influential card. We will get another event in the form of GHG Shipment. It costs 3MC and requires the Calvinists in power, 
or you having three delegates there and comes with a space tag. It grants one heat prod and then one heat per floater you own. This card is seriously concerning. There are multiple ways to collect floaters fast and if Titan is in play, you can easily stack up 20 floaters without any problems. That would mean that you can get 20 instant heat and one heat prod out of a 3 cost card and the fact that this will trigger optimal arrow breaking is just a cherry on top. The only mitigating factor is that floaters do not really fit into a terraforming strategy. But still, the value in the best case scenario would be insane. Second to last, we have Sponsoring Nation, a huge card. It costs 21 MC, requires 4 Earth Tags and comes with one itself. It grants 3 TR and lets you place 2 Delegates. This is a crazy point scorer for the mid to late game and if this allows you to swing an election, it can score 4 TR and grant you the Chairman influence. Very strong card, but the requirement needs to be kept in mind, of course. And lastly, we have this Venus event card that I cannot decipher the name of. It costs 4 MC, requires you to discard a card, and then grants you a Venus bump. I think this card is great. Venus strategies often work well together with science and card draw, and that means you'll have lots of unnecessary cards on hand, which you can easily throw away to get a cheap point. Afterwards in the video, we get to see some Otoma content. Like this huge stack of cards, a board with the title Colonies that seems to be Automa specific versions of the well-known colony tiles, and then also a three-layer punch board that evidently is made to control the Otoma bot on the three different maps. I don't quite know what to make out of all of this, but I'll keep you updated once we know more. So yeah, if you enjoyed this short video and want to make sure not to miss any other updates on Preload 2, Otoma and all other topics surrounding Terraforming Mars, Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.